Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved run, which is blind and which is targeting legendary difficulty. Oh boy, we are ready for all defenses as the missed base of ours is being attacked, but our prime team is there to defend it. So let's jump into the action and kill some aliens. Okay, so we are live. Ready to go. I can already see a couple of enemies. Um, good. Grell as a melee frontliner would be here. We can, uh, we could use our war, sh uh, war scream if needed. I was born ready. Just out of curiosity, we could hit the guy with a pistol, right? Sure, why not? So, was that a hit? Equipment damage shield. But that, that pistol is the one, right? Paralysis 7, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Good, the guy has 36 uh, paralysis that it needs. 21 of uh, them are already there. Taking aim. 28. Ooh, that could have gone better. We'll move up, and I would like to do some quick aim. How does that taste? We'll do some quick aim here. Oh come on! Need to try again. More quick aim. Target miss. Unbelievable. Identifying. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. Go on, guys. You just need to hit one more time. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. E and the Butcher Owens jumps down. We're instilling frenzy into everyone. Ian moves up. And we're moving up in order to get uh, into a melee position. Tell you what, we're just rushing head of realm to here good enough and ranks is going to be the guy with a shield oh we no 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 he's also the guy with uh, the option for melee paralysis so he's actually the one Needs to get all the way in front here. Pretty sure we had another melee paralysis. Yep. There we go. Good. And the idea is let's get let's uh, get as many of these guys paralyzed as possible. Yeah, I absolutely love the defense missions where you do have like that choke point here 
the enemy's just coming in. Haven't seen it with harder enemies, so they never really pushed through the choke point. But you definitely have a really, really, really solid defense position. Alright, lots of enemies there. Like it. Dranks dashes forward. Moves up. Oh, we got a mind, uh, mind sucker there. Um, no, no, stand by. Uh, hit him. Good, that guy looks sufficiently paralyzed as well. Um, I believe what we can do is we can war cry. Move to here. Big fat war cry. Hits everyone. And moving back. Easy enough. Franks moves to here, and we're just going to put up a bit of a defense. Not sure if we can, like, really protect this against all of them, but we're going to find out. So, just need the right angle. I think we will need to get rid of the shield. We don't have dash, otherwise it would be great to move in and just hit them. I think for now what we can do is... sure he's losing his arm that way he it'll be much harder for him to do anything and from over to here I can instill frenzy next turn for now we're just overwatching okay cool so this guy is already um, this guy's already hit just increasing the paralysis with some of them uh, do we have additional ammunition Well, his pistol is empty, which means we're going to use a real sniper rifle overwatch. Good, we've in increased the paralysis on all of the targets. Now... If he hits the shield, does that paralyze? No, the shield just uh, counts as damage. I need to be careful with the ammunition that really... Um, is, it's a pretty fast drain for the ammo. Good, and we're done. Wow, 
One of them is fleeing because he lost all of his options. More enemies are coming in, but that's okay. Good. Out of curiosity, this here would hit everybody. And that's good. Nice little war cry. Careful, really, with our dashing. I always need to come, uh, be able to come out again after we dashed in. Yeah, hits his en uh, his friend much more than he has hit us. That was the wrong one. Try again. Um. Drake's moving up, uh, moving out again. Tell you what, the target selection is really poor. I'm here. I think we're recovering well points here. And we're just going to overwatch for now. Can't really regain will points, so I think we need to do that soon just regaining the remaining will points for now we're moving up here I called bullshit on it. Uh, these guys have so much movement, it's unbelievable. Their face hugging must be a free action. It, I can't imagine how else this is going to work.
One, two, three. Moves up. Free aim. And we're putting everybody on war cry again. These two are solidly disabled. Recovering for more war cries. Ready to fire. Trying to break the shield. Oh, need a better shot next time. Gotta focus. That unfortunately was hitting the shield again. It's very unfortunate. Moving a bit to the side and in turn. More enemies are going to use overwatch, but that really doesn't matter for us. Oh yeah, we do have Quite a few enemies there. One, two, three. So he's all three of our uh, paralyzed um, enemies are actually paralyzed for a quite long time. I continued using War Cry. That way they can't move up. We're recovering over here. Ian has received some damage. Which means he's healing himself. Keep it together, operative. Need to get a treat on. So, continuing with our snipers, really just disabling the enemies. That was a mistake, my dude. Right here. 
Moves up. One. Two. Three. We're using onslaught. Four. And five. Subject paralyzed. Good. We're continuing with Warcry. <laughs> Making it all the better. Drenx uh, takes an extended shield there. Overwatch. Uh, let's take our snipers. Just need the right angle. I think that was a miss. Unfortunate. They could be anywhere. These guys are okay. Eyes open. And we essentially finish the turn. They just can't come in. I'm not going to be mad about it because apparently Mindfragers have 150 billion movement uh, but he had two actions and he did not only move in with two actions he solidly moved through the entirety of this parkour and then decided to move up all the way and use his ability all right can't move I'm here sucks but it is what it is Position. Just trying to get rid of the shield of this guy. Nope, not happening. Good, they still can't come in and it's not that I want I could easily kill them with grenades. It's still frenzy. There's still one overwatch, at least. Five by five. Can't accept that. Oh. 
overwatching. Trying to aim. Good. Overwatch removed. Trying again. Uh, I would want to get dash up. Good. Move, moves up. Deals paralysis, moves back. I need to re-paralyze this guy. Everybody's work right. And we're recovering our points. One. Two. Three. I really don't want to deal with his paralysis anytime soon. Can we dash all the way there? No, we cannot. So I need to move a bit closer. I want that. Face sucker. Good, there is a second one over there. Fantastic. better position uh, we are just shouting at everybody and I think we need to kill a couple of uh, them it's just too many there the rocket launcher arm so that guy is also mainly out of the game okay next turn I'm trying to get one of uh, those face suckers be great good we've spotted them out moving all the way up here then shouting so that all of them are affected now taking sprint to move to here
We still have enough to move out. Very good. That solves our problems. Move into here. Um, all of them are very well paralyzed. It's now a matter of just cleaning up the rest. couple of kills that uh, might help us here that one didn't I'm here problem is they really don't want to move further forwards they are super afraid to do anything position these guys bleed and are soon going to die. We'll do one more round of recovery. Everybody is being war cried upon. More recovery. Such a nasty tactic. I think that skill is likely a bit overpowered. One more to the list. I mean, think about it. You stand there, and we're putting like what eight, nine, ten of them in check, and I really can't do anything. Still frenzy. Yes. Moves to here. One there. One there. And we're pretty much good. Charge over here. Move to here. Oh, Drinks does not have another melee weapon other than that. Well, lucky for him, number one, this here drains action points. And number two, he's nicely immune against um, these mind suckers. And number three, we're moving in and we're shouting. Everybody is affected. One jumps over two. Uh, drinks 
upwards uh, this year into Shattered Realm's hands. Shattered Realm helps Dranks. Dranks then says thank you and helps him to reload his other stuff. Can we hit the gun? Good question. The answer seems to be no. I was born ready in my sights. Still did not destroy it. Okay. One. Two. Three. It's paralyzed. Now I want the triton, uh, triton. fully get there to paralyze it. I do have an idea though. Grail moves up, free aims. Yep, gun is gone. Very nice. Which makes this process here way less painful. Hello. Let me help you and stun you a little bit. I'm ready to be to try again. Very nice, he becomes more and more paralyzed. Receiving. Can't really give Onslaught that far away. But that's okay, we're good. Interesting that this guy seems to come alive again. Butcher moves up. You're not going yet to escape me, my dude. Two. And three. 
I don't like the melee options of uh, this guy, so... Let's just remove the pincer, shall we? Sounds like a good idea. It bleeds for a bit, but that's okay. Good. There we go. A commanding victory of our team. 600 uh, uh, experience are potentially a little bit too much for what we have faced, but boy oh boy, did we capture a lot of aliens. I'm actually quite happy on how that went. I think we've almost captured all of the relevant uh, ones. The pistol isn't bad either, but uh, you need way more ammunition for it. So let's see. Ooh, look at that. So we got two mine fraggers, right? We got an Arthron, Triton, more Arthrons in various shapes or forms, another Triton, a Siren, and another Arthron. Damn it. Very nice. Good. Triton, yes. Mine fragger, yes. What we haven't done is uh, Chiron. That's one of those big guys. And a fire worm. <laughs> okay, and we haven't done a Skrilla. I suppose we're going to do that with like a hundred pistols and just go ratatatatatatum and try to keep it, uh, try to keep it uh, just down, I guess. But not in the hive. I don't see how we can capture that. Capture a Pandoran with psychic abilities. Yeah, we got that. Capture Pandoran with virus ability. I would think that we have done that as well. But all right. So that problem here has been resolved. And how is our team doing? Manticore 1. Oh, we got a couple of level ups. So, for starters, rapid clearance. Oh yeah, that's a must have ability. Then we got Rage Burst, which I think seems like a super good ability as well. So, we're going to get that soon. Drengs requires repairs. Grell has upgraded and we either get a Adrenaline Rush, all abilities cost a maximum of one action point until the end of the turn. Next turn you will be dazed. That by the way, plus a heavy cannon, which we have, would be absolutely fantastic. I wonder, is that actually something that is viable? Say, if I was to do this here, Besides the fact that that cannon looks a little bit like a lollipop, but it's a good cannon. Uh, so, it's a very good cannon. Ooh, or, or, or... All abilities cost a maximum of one. Which means I could use the grenade launcher and just go to town? Is that what you're saying? Hmm... That's a pretty damn good combination. Why would you then take this one here, actions and grenades, as reduced by one? And the range is... well, because it's a range increase. Okay, I'll test that and we will see if this is as good as it uh, looks. But if it is what it says it is, then this would be fatally good. Like Berserker, everything costs one point. 
combined with rapid clearance well it wouldn't be a problem for the melee attacks right i mean that already is okay that is already one point when you get the right torso but the cool part about it is um, if we're getting uh, the juggernaut torso which i want to get for her this ability here would help her to still attack for one in melee uh, and just out of curiosity uh, we took the immunity to mind control let's reconsider well i still stand by the fact the one that gives mind control immunity is just by far the best head i can't see the other two being nearly as good and since they compete with all of the other body parts uh, the heads themselves are worse than the torso and legs so that's uh, a suboptimal design uh, that it, it's not how it should be you should be able to either get all three but whatever uh, maybe it would just take too much humanity out of uh, the character which is a fun thing to hear if you do no longer have a head and no arms and no torso that's fine because you still retain your butt cheeks and your legs but still constitutes as a human being i suppose but okay let's not argue ethics here it's a game good manticore one is actually moving in this direction Medicore 3 is good. Medicore 2 is doing a couple of things. Number 1, we're trading for material. Number 2, I would like to get another priest. And the question now is where do we put it? I think we're putting it to born in the USA because uh, they won't have a chance to get one anytime soon there you go that way let's just look at personal i think that will fit one two three four five six seven they are requiring one more over there to have their eight um, my understanding is you can have squads of eight at max let's see if you can part them into different aircrafts hopefully you can but uh, we would need one more, maybe a technician over here. Uh, then we do have two more in Phoenix Point. And I think we need one more in Frozen Circuit. Although Frozen Circuit is like team number three, which already has quite a few. I mean, JP, on the other hand, would need to go into a different team, I guess. So let's assign the, maybe that is something that we also need to do. I don't have uh, the aircrafts yet to assign uh, to assign them. But yeah, the prime team still needs more um, SP and the soldiers get them from actually doing uh, missions. I want to continue uh, letting, uh, letting them be a good uh, team. The next manufacturing after this year is done uh, would not be a manticore but i will actually get two heliuses to see if i can get team one to heart uh, commit uh, into two heliuses there is another potential priest here and then we would be fine what is this? Motion detection helmet. Locate all nearby units even behind obstruction. That's, a, that's pretty damn good. So when we... New aircraft available. That will go into Born in the USA. I need more for the next manufacturing. Uh, we had the repellent module. It's a helmet module. 
and that's a helmet module as well. So locate all nearby enemies even behind obstructions seems absolutely fantastic. I like the blast vest with half uh, explosion damage so it's a no-brainer. Um, removes all mist within two tiles. Whilst moving, that's potentially not needed for all of uh, them. I would guess... Since it says nearby units, maybe we do half and half. Some have a repeller module, some don't. Yeah, I think that makes sense. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Giving a bit more agency to the A-team. Okay, we got another scavenger site, this time for Manticore 3, which we're going to do in the next episode. Let's see what else we could get. There's a sniper here. Berserker, Berserker. I'm looking for another technician, if that is available somewhere. Berserker, Berserker. Can tell you something uh, on Born in the USA as a base. I also wanted to do more training facilities. Currently, we only have two, and I wanted to get more. So the next money actually should go into training facility, and then we're going to take aircrafts. Um, in terms of Born in the USA. We have an infiltrator. Um, a heavy sniper. Another sniper. This is the one with no, that's not the one. Okay, so the one sniper that we've loaded up was the one with uh, assault uh, weapons. So take another heavy and we'll take this uh, guy. Uh, we'll still leave the aircraft as is. Matter of fact, I would actually argue maybe we're just leaving all of the guys in the base just to get more experience for now. Plus, we also need to equip them. And we're just going to start moving around. Uh, we need to do that mission next. So that's actually our next target. I don't want to let anyone be idle. And how many more question marks do we have on the map? Apparently pretty much none. Of course, with the exception of USA, where we definitely do have quite a few question marks and that'll help us also to explore all of it, which is good. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem like there's an awful lot more to explore at the moment. Let's check for uh, for support. Nothing has changed because we haven't really helped anyone nor did we destroy anything. Uh, makes sense that they are still as loyal or illoyal as they had been before. But I think now we do have chances to finally do some missions. I think phase one up here, for instance, is up for grab. Um, but the D team, uh, the US team, first of all, uh, needs to needs some levels. Anyways, if you want to see yourself on the D team uh, in the future, leave a comment and a like down below and consider smashing that button uh, to support the growth of the US base. Thank you.
Have a good one. Bye-bye.